Hello subscribers, this is yours truly, JBlue68. Today is September the 29th, Sunday. It's my third video for the weekend, and I just want to say first of all, thank you to all my subscribers. Uh, continue to like my, my channel, comment, tap that bell, so you get more videos as I post them immediately. Uh, I'm doing a quick video, uh, just something that I want to do on this very exciting uh, story or comic book that you see in front of you. Of course, there's only one book. I actually did a video on this a year ago when I started my YouTube channel uh, based off of the Dark Crystal, Beneath the Dark Crystal. And I was supposed to actually have the entire series of this book. By now, I still don't have it. I'm hoping when I go to the in NYCC or New York Comic Con that I'll finally be able to get at least one of the volumes. I think there are like five of them. This is a uh, Beneath the Dark Crystal, Beneath the Dark Crystal, uh, written by Adam Smith and drawn or illustrated by Alexandria Huntington. Uh, it's based off the Jim Henson uh, 1982 movie that came out during that time. And if you don't know who Jim Henson is, Jim, Jim Henson is the original creator of The Muppets or The Muppet Show. Of course, that's Miss Piggy, Kermit the, Kermit the Frog, and Fozzie Bear. And uh, he co-created some of these characters with Frank Oz. Frank Oz, um, major puppeteer on The Muppet Show and also the creator of Yoda and the voice of Yoda as well. Uh, Jim Henson died sometime in the late 80s, unfortunately, but he left a legacy behind him and that legacy was The Dark Crystal. And there have been several books, as I've mentioned and as you see in front of you, published by Dark Horse Comics. This is actually my, this is Dark Horse Comics or Boom Studios? No, I'm sorry, I'm correct. This is Boom Studios. I am so sorry. Boom Studios is a publisher of this book. Um, and they've been trying to get a sequel for Dark Crystal for some time now. There was a talk about a sequel back in 92 and then later on in 2002. And then they scrapped the project because uh, they were not able to get in the, their creative minds together. To actually do uh, a follow-up movie. Uh, it's very, very exciting series, and they, they finally got it done. It's now on Netflix. Uh, it's t there are 10 episodes in all, and if you've ever seen the original Dark Crystal, it, it's just a, a wonderful creation of ideas of mythology and adventure using puppets. This was way before CGI came into existence, <clears throat> and puppets were a very popular thing in the 70s and definitely in the early 80s. Again, with Jim Henson and, uh, and the uh, Muppet Show, as we, anyone born in the 60s and 70s and even the 80s remembers the Muppet Show. Um, and there, uh, Jim Henson also had some part in Sesame Street, too, uh, by the way. But this show... It's, it's a great show. Um, I re highly recommend it for watching. Again, as I said, there are 10 episodes in all. It's directed by Louis. Let me see if I can pronounce his last name right. I, know, I think it's French. Letiere. Uh, Letiere. Uh, no, it's actually Italian. Louis Letiere. Uh, he actually in, in directed the first move, one of the second films for the MCU, The Incredible Hulk, back in 2008. And he's also the, the director of two of the transporter films. Um, this show mixes the art of puppeteering and with a little CGI, but there's, there's mainly a lot of uh, puppet uh, work done in the show. It, they try to not to use a lot of CGI. They only use CGI when, when necessary, but there's mainly a lot of practical effects. Um, it has a, a cast of over 59 voice actors and 83 puppeteers. Uh, the voice actors include Mark Hamill, uh, Gugu Mabatha Ra uh, from the movie Beyond the Lights, Taron Egerton, uh, Benedict Wong, who was in Doctor Strange, Jason Isaac, Keegan Michael Key, Aquafina, who will be in an upcoming Marvel movie, I believe, Doctor Strange, Simon Pegg, and Mark Strong, just to name a few. And it deals with the familiar characters, the Skeksis, the Gelflings, the Mystics, Augra, the Potlings, on the world called Thra. And they're dealing with the Crystal Shard, which 
which uh, which is gives the planet its power. It's a mystical crystal, actually uh, from uh, the galaxy of Thraw. I think it's a galaxy of Thraw. I'm not really sure about that part, but it's just a wonderful story. It's it just reminds me of the age of innocence when I was a kid watching the Muppet Show and seeing this movie. I was so excited to see it, and I wanted my mom to rush me and my brothers to the, to the theater to see it as soon as it hit uh, movie screens. And again, that was back in 82, and it just takes me back to that time, again, before uh, CGI became a big thing. And it's not a show probably for everyone, but it's definitely a show for your kids. There's a lot of violence in it, though. I was really surprised. A lot of deaths of characters in this film. It's a lot of violence, so there is some parental guidance suggested, but your kids can watch it. Uh, if you don't have kids, you know, your nieces or nephews could watch it. It's definitely a great movie for the upcoming holidays, or a TV show, I should say, for the upcoming holidays. The only thing that's unfortunate is that Netflix is going through a lot of changes right now uh, with their subscribers um, and, you know, losing a lot of shows, canceling a lot of shows because they've been going through a financial strain lately. And then with the upcoming Disney streaming network, it's going to probably take a lot of a lot more subscribers away from them. You know, as people are debating whether they're going to stay with Netflix or with um, the Disney streaming network. So a lot of shows, the a lot of shows on Netflix are, are right now in an in an unstable realm, as including the network itself. So um, I'm hoping for a sequel or a season two, I should say. For this TV show, again, it's great to watch. Highly recommend it. So, I just wanted to do this. Wanted to do this cre uh, video really quick, and also show you the comic book again, um, and show you some of the art, some of the artwork from the pages. Uh, again, this is from Boom Studios, and here are the credits here. Again, written by Adam Smith, illustrated by Alexandria Huntington, lettered by Jim Campbell, covered by Benjamin Dewey, and this actually pre this actually previewed at the 2018 San Diego Comic Con. Let's take a look, take a look at some of the artwork. Here is beneath the dark crystal, and the one that's on Netflix now is called Age of Resistance. These are these are prequels to the movie itself the events that took place before the actual film and i believe eventually they're going to do a sequel to the dark crystal but here's some of the artwork very very nice there very colorful you see some of the potlings some of the skexy uh, it's not the skexy, skexy some of the um, gelflings and we learned too that there are several races of of uh, Gelflings. I always thought they were just one race, but there are several different races of Gelflings. And um, just a wonderful show to watch. It's a wonderful show to watch. You know, it's not for everyone. And here's Agra there, also seen in the TV show. It's not for everyone, you know, to watch. is you know, it has a very childlike uh, depiction, you know. But again, I like it. I'm enjoying it so far. I'm actually on episode 9. I'll be finishing up the, the, the show tonight with episode 10. And again, I hope to find the actual trade paperbacks of Dark Crystal at New York Comic Con or sometime in the near future where I can read the books and get more of the backstory of these characters. And this looks like Augur when she was much younger. Okay. All right, so that's it. That's all, y'all. I'm not going to extend this video beyond 10 minutes so yeah dark, the dark crystal beneath the dark crystal you can read the comic book or watch the tv show or do both okay that's it that's all y'all peace love and hair grease